Hi, my name's Paul Nyman, and I've been recruiting for the last 25 years, both as a global recruiter, helping develop talent teams, but also externally running my own recruitment business for the last 20 years. This is part of the Killer Question series, in which I'm going to talk to you about that real killer question. Tell me why you're looking. Now, in advance of that, the most important thing that you can do to help answer that question, tell me why you're looking, is to know, as I've shared with you before, one, who is the person that I'm sat in front of and who am I having the interview with? Research them and understand what they're about. Two, know about the business. Research the company. Don't just look at them on the website. Get out, look at their products, look at the store, look at the type of environment they operate in. Look at the issues pertaining to their business and their business environment. And number three, number three, know the role you're applying to. Because all of that knowledge, all that understanding will get you in vogue and in line with the type of question and the best answer that you can give. So with that knowledge in hand, let's answer that question. Tell me why you're looking. So this can be a real snake pit, a real killer of a question. Tell me why you're looking. But the most important thing is you've got to keep it professional. OK, keep it non-personal and really importantly, don't make it a grudge match against your employer. So keep it professional. Talk about it from a professional perspective rather than linking it with your home life. Keep talking about why this role is going to help you move your career forward. Keep it non-personal by not talking about the blow up that you had with X colleague in the canteen or had a problem getting an approval for a sign off. And really importantly, don't get involved in a grudge match with other individuals in your organisation, because all of these give away ways of behaviour, ways of of interacting with other people. And it gives any good interviewer a great insight about how you may behave in their organisation. So keep it professional. Keep it non-personal and don't make it a grudge. So that's the question. Why am I looking? It's got to be positive. You've got to make it uplifting and you've got to make it forward looking. Keep it positive in terms of the reason why you want to move on from your current organisation. Keep it uplifting in terms of I've achieved my full potential. However, what I'd like to do is to move my career forward by. And then, as I said, keep it forward looking. Going forward in the future, what I would like to achieve with my career is I'm currently perhaps unable to achieve that at the moment. So from a practical point of view, it's important to keep the answer to your question within about 60 to 90 seconds. If you make it too long, the interviewer will become distracted and eventually turn off. 60 to 90 seconds provides enough insight for you to link your answer to the company values Link your desire to move forward from present to future with the job description. And number three, link your personality to the attributes of the individual whom you're meeting and offer some degree of bridge as to the reason why they should hire you. The killer question, tell me why you're looking, offers the interviewer also a great insight, not just why you're looking, but it also tells them what you're looking for. So if you give an insight that you're looking for promotion and there's no promotion in the current role available, it's likely they won't offer you the role. If the reason you're looking is because of security of your current business and their business is particularly insecure, it may be that they don't offer it to you because they know they all move on again. If the reason you're looking is because of geography and actually there's a lot of travel in this role or you might be away from home for customer commitments, it may be likely that this won't suit. We'll come on to that more in other questions and how to manage your first and second interviews later on. So do subscribe here, keep in touch, and I hope this video is of help, and I look forward to catching up with you soon.